Praise the Lord. God loves you. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter number 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Precious people of God, we may live here for 120 years. You know, when man is seen in the book of Genesis chapter number 6, the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord was grieved. It grieved God because of the evil and sin and unrighteousness of man on earth. And the word of the Lord says clearly, and the Lord says man shall live for up to 120 days, which means the length of the years which man could live on the earth were shortened by the Lord God Almighty. If you go a little bit before that time, you see men like Adam, Enoch, Enosh, Mrs. Sarah, living, Lamech, they lived over 800 years. But these days, we don't live that, that far. Uh, precious people of God, these 120 years we are living in here is a short time. We are going to live most of our time with the Lord. Remember when they were talking about the resurrection and Jesus said that God is not the God of the dead. He's God of Jacob. He's God of Moses. He's God of Abraham. So which means someone is going to stay somewhere after they put away their flesh, the natural body. We have to prepare for that. We need to get born again. Nicodemus was a religious leader. He was a Pharisee. And he came to Jesus. And he was amazed at the miracles and wonders and signs which the Lord was doing. So he started talking to him about it. He said, no one can do these miracles, cause the dead to raise the lame to walk, the blind to see, cause leprosy to be cleansed, and healing all kinds and man of diseases as it is recorded in Matthew 8, 16. Remember that blind man in John 9 who was born blind and Jesus healed him. So Nicodemus saw that and he realized that for this kind of a thing to happen, there has to be something special about Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter number 10, that 30, verse 38, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power who went about doing good and healing all those who were oppressed by the devil, demon, Satan, for God was with him. As you know, when God is with you, miracles will follow you. The power of God will be in your midst. That's God's will for the church. Those are some of the things I shared in my book, Ministering to God, Key to a Prosperous Life, Church Filled with God's Power, Miracles, Wonders, and Signs. You can go and find it on my website, ministeringtogod.com. Now, Nicodemus, he needed to get born again. If Nicodemus, a Pharisee, a teacher of the law, who was one of those people who could get into the Torah, the scrolls, and explain the oracles of God, needed that. Every person needs it. The bishop needs to get born again. The pope needs to get born again. Uh, uh, pastors, evangelists, apostles, teachers, they all need to get born again. Don't let anybody tell you it's not God's will for you to, go, to get born again. The Bible says very clearly in Isaiah 119, if you are willing and obedient, you shall hit the good of the land. With what you need to really obey as quickly as possible is the message of salvation. Now, I want you to pray with me. Say, Jesus, I give you my heart today. Master, I know you died for me and for the whole world and it rose from the dead. And now you are seated at the right hand of the Father. 
and you said where two or three are, you are gathered there, you are among them. So I give you my heart. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. And Master, I confess you today to be my Lord and Savior. Now, if you have done that, wherever you are, because God is no respect of persons, nobody can stand before God and claim importance before him. Because everything we have and everything we are is only possible because of him. Remember, he is the Lord. In Genesis 1 verse 1, the Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In Genesis 126, God creates man in his own image. We were made in the image of God, in his likeness. We can worship God. We can bless God. We can love God. We can walk in the presence of God and honor him and, and, and celebrate him so that we may get blessed. You are looking for blessings. The true blessings come from the Lord God Almighty. You humble yourself with, for him and blessings will get on you. God bless you. What a blessing to talk to you today. We love you. We'll talk to you more another time.